Hello, boys and girls, Engineer Warren here, bringing you Tots and Trains, the home edition. Glad to see you with us. Today's book is My Freight Train. I have a freight train. I drive it all the time. I'm the engineer. It's early in the morning. The cars are loaded and ready to go. I control the train from a cabin in the locomotive. The locomotive is where the engine is and it pulls all the freight cars. He's waving, ready to go. The cars are connected by couplers. The train has lots of wheels and rides on two steel tracks. I push the throttle that makes the engine run and the train pulls out of the freight yard. All the different things that my train carries are called freight. Each car in the train is made to hold something special. Furniture, TVs, and toys travel in the box car. The refrigerator car carries things that need to stay cold, like ice cream and bologna. Gravel is carried in the hopper car. The tank car is filled with gasoline. The auto rack car is carrying new automobiles. The gondola car is carrying pipes. The piggyback car carries a truck trailer. The flat car is carrying lumber. Cows and chickens travel in the livestock car. Hi cows and chickens. All day long I deliver the freight. That's my job. I have lots of stops to make today, and I have to stay on schedule. He's waving again. They're fishing. At my first stop, the animals are unloaded. They are going to a farm. The cows will make milk, and the chickens will lay eggs. Who watch it. That chicken got out of the, the box. Hi cows. Cows are getting milked. Hi chickens. Chickens are laying eggs and the farmer is gathering the eggs. At my second stop, the gravel, the gasoline, and the cars come off the train. The gravel will be used to make roads and the gasoline is for the gas station and the cars will be sold. It says new cars. There's the gravel getting unloaded for making roads. And they're making loads with a cement mixer. And there's the gas station where the gasoline station attendant is filling up the car. I eat my lunch on the train because there is no time to waste. Sometimes I stay on the train for days. In the caboose, there is a desk to sit at, lockers for my clothes, and a bed to sleep on. And if you look real close, there's a teddy bear in the bed. There goes the train right through town. All the cars are stopped. 
and people are working and shopping and riding motorcycles. We unload the furniture, TVs, and toys at my third stop. They will go to a department store. The ice cream and bologna are also unloaded. They will go to a supermarket. There's the TVs for sale. And there's the ice cream being sold at the grocery store. And bologna too. Finally, at my last stop, the lumber and pipes are unloaded. They will be used to build houses. The trailer comes off too. Inside the trailer is more freight that will be delivered by a truck. There's the pipes being loaded. And they're building the house with lumber and the pipes. And there's the truck now being hauled by a truck. It's late now and the stars and moon are out. I would like to drive my freight train all night, but I have to go to sleep and let someone else drive. And that's the end of our story. And I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And we'll see you next time. Either for tots and trains or riding our trains at our museum at Osceola, Wisconsin. And the Jackson Reed Street Roundhouse in St. Paul. Where they're changing out a wheel to make your ride better. That's how we do it at the museum. And making our Jackson Street Roundhouse even better than before. We're almost ready for you to come back. We're going to open up for you July 1st. And when we do, we're going to greet you. And we're going to like having you come and visit us at the museum. We hope you have a great time. We'll see you real soon at the museum. Until then, this is Engineer Warren from the Minnesota Transportation Museum. And we'll see you again real.